The new Insta360 GO 3S is here, but so is the flagship X4 and the Ace Pro. So which one should you buy? Today, I'm gonna to compare these three cameras and discuss the key differences to help you decide which one is better to buy for you and your particular use case. At the end of the video, I'll share which camera is my favorite and why it might surprise you. I'm gonna start off by comparing the image quality and hardware differences, and then we'll get into the real feature differences of the three cameras. All right, so starting off with the image quality comparisons, the X4 can shoot up to 8K in 30 frames per second, which is quite impressive, but keep in mind that's in the full 360 mode. So that 8K resolution is spread across a large area. So when you actually reframe your footage, you're not utilizing that full 8K. Now, on the other hand, the Ace Pro does shoot up to 8K 24, and your final image will be utilizing that entire 8K resolution since it's not a 360 camera. Then finally, the Go 3S has just been updated to support 4K up to 30 frames per second. Now here are some comparison shots between the three different cameras. And keep in mind, all of this footage is shot in full auto. So what you're seeing is what you'll get directly out of the camera without adjusting any of the settings. So I'd say overall, in my experience, the Go 3S and the X4 are roughly on par once the X4 is reframed to a similar aspect ratio. While the Ace Pro has the edge in dynamic range, resolution, and low light, I'd say overall that they're all relatively on par when it comes to color as well, which is really nice to see. The X4 and the Go 3S also perform decently in low light in my opinion, as you can see, but the pure video mode on the Ace Pro again has the edge. Although I have noticed a bit of graininess with the pure video mode. So while the Go 3 and the X4 overall have dimmer images, they tend to be a bit cleaner. Overall, in my opinion, the Ace Pro comes out on top when it comes to pure image quality because you're utilizing that full 8K sensor plus its superior low light capability. However, the X4 and the Go 3S still both look great in my opinion. You really just have to keep in mind that with the X4, you can't zoom in too far because again, it's like zooming in on a small portion of an 8K image. The closer you zoom, the worse it's gonna look. But if you keep it at a relatively normal field of view, then you definitely won't be disappointed with the X4 image quality. And the Go 3S has actually jumped in quality quite a lot from the Go 3. I did a whole other video about the Go 3 versus the Go 3S, but the 3S image quality has jumped not only in resolution, but also in dynamic range and color accuracy. All right, so let's move on to the actual hardware of these three cameras. Starting off with the size and weight, the X4 comes in as the biggest camera of the three, followed by the Ace Pro, and then the Go 3S comes in as the smallest. The X4 weighs 203 grams, the Ace Pro is 179.8 grams, and the Go 3S is 135.4. And while that might not sound like much, when you put them on the end of a selfie stick, you can actually feel the weight difference quite significantly. Now, even with the X4 at just over 200 grams, I personally have definitely not experienced any fatigue or anything like that holding this up on a selfie stick for extended periods of time. It's definitely not that heavy, so I don't think you'll have any issues with the weight of these different cameras. In terms of size, they all comfortably fit in my pocket. However, when you take the actual Go 3 camera out of the action pod, it's significantly smaller than the other cameras, which depending on what you're wanting to shoot could be a clear advantage over the other two. Next, let's talk about the battery life of these cameras. Now, the X4 has a capacity of 2,200 190 milliamp hours with a claimed runtime on the website of about 135 minutes shooting in 5.7k at 30 frames per second. The Ace Pro's battery capacity is actually a bit smaller at 1650 milliamp hours with the runtime a little shorter as well at 100 minutes and this is recording in 4k 30 active HDR. Then finally the battery of the Go 3S comes in at a total of 1580 milliamp hours with 310 milliamp hours in the actual Go 3S camera. Now the Insta360 website claims that the camera itself will run for 38 minutes shooting in 1080p 30. Well, if you combine it with the action pod, you'll get 140 minutes shooting in 1080p 30. In my personal experience, I've filmed for two hours straight on this in 4K before the battery was exhausted. Now, just before I get into the features, I wanna take a moment to talk about Magic Mind. Magic Mind is a subscription-based nootropic shot made up of all natural ingredients, which is designed to give you clear mental focus Focus, boosted motivation and lower stress levels for eight plus hours. I take it with my morning coffee and it helps keep me productive right into my evenings, which is incredible for me as someone who is self-employed. And the fact that it's subscription-based makes it incredibly convenient. You just set up your subscription once on the Magic Mind website and then you just wait for it to arrive each month. Plus you get free shipping and there's a 100% no questions asked money back guarantee if you don't like it after your first purchase, which means you can try it out risk-free. And then in the future, if you need to cancel your 
subscription. It's as easy as logging into the Magic Mind portal and hitting cancel. You can even skip a month or adjust the frequency of your deliveries. There are 15 bottle or 30 bottle subscriptions, which are designed to be used either every day or every second day, depending on how much focus you need. Personally, I use it on weekdays when I'm working and then skip on weekends. Just for today's video, I've partnered with Magic Mind to give you an exclusive 20% discount on your next order. And this will apply if you've used my free trial code, you're a new customer or you're an existing Magic Mind subscriber. Check out the description for the link to Magic Mind and that exclusive discount code. All right, now let's talk about the features of these three different cameras. Now, I just want to quickly touch on the similar features because they do have some similarities being from the same manufacturer. First of all, they all have a very similar UI. So if you've ever used an Insta360 camera, you'll be very at home with all three. All three have great stabilization built in that goes without saying for these Insta360 cameras. And this includes horizon lock in all three cameras. All three also have gesture controls, which is really nice to see. And they're all waterproof to 10 meters. With the only caveat being that the X4 technically needs a dive case to get clear images underwater. So if you're planning on buying one of these specifically for use in water, that's worth keeping in mind. Now they all also have a lot of the same video and photo modes, including time lapse, time shift, loop recording, star lapse, photo and video modes. But there's a few unique modes to each camera, which I want to just point out. So the X4 has a bullet time mode, which I've shown in previous videos. But if you buy the bullet time accessory, you can use it to get these kind of cool shots of swinging the camera in slow motion around your head. And then the X4 also has me mode, which is used in single lens mode, which basically cuts out the need to reframe your video in post since the camera will always be pointing towards you. Then with the Ace Pro, you've got pure video mode and pure video is designed to be used in low light. And I already touched on this with the image quality comparisons, but it really does give you superior low light capabilities. And then with the Go 3S, you've got the recently added interval video mode, which basically lets you automatically capture vlogs by enabling the camera to automatically turn on and off at set intervals throughout the day to capture moments, which you can then stitch together in post using the Insta360 app. Moving on with some more unique features, let's talk about the lenses of these three different cameras. So the X4 obviously has a full 360 degree view, which is enabled by having dual lenses on either side of the camera. Now this is obviously a huge benefit in the sense that it enables you to capture everything that's happening around you all at once, which also means you don't have to worry as much in the moment about where you've got your camera position because you can always reframe it later in post. This is personally one of my favorite things about the X4 because it means, especially when you're shooting action footage, you can really focus on just enjoying the moment rather than having to worry about where your camera is pointed. The downside of this is that you do have to spend a bit more time in post reframing all of your shots unless you're using that meme mode. Then the Ace Pro has a single wide angle lens, which has been co-engineered with Leica, which is pretty cool. And it's a 35 millimeter equivalent of a 16 millimeter field of view focal length with an aperture of f2.6. Now to me, the benefit of having a single lens over a 360 lens is that there's less work in post and you get a higher quality image. Now, while you do have the upside of having less work in post because you don't have to reframe it, you have the flip side, which is the downside of having to spend more time setting up and framing your shot in the moment while you're filming. And then this is somewhat similar with the Go 3S, which is also a 16 millimeter focal length equivalent with an aperture of f2.8. Again, the benefit is that there's less work in post because you don't have to reframe. And also you can get really unique angles since the camera is so small and you can pop it out of the action pod. You can put it in places that you just can't put the other two cameras, which makes for some really interesting shots. Again, the downside is just the fact that you have to be more conscious of your framing and your shots while you're in the moment filming rather than just being able to freely shoot and then reframe later. Now, when it comes to the screens, the X4 has the biggest at two and a half inches and it's also fixed on one side of the camera. Next, we've got the Ace Pro with a screen size of 2.42 inches, which can also be flipped up, which is really nice and very handy. And it's also got a small little screen on the front so that you can quickly see what mode you're in and the settings you're shooting with. And finally, you've got the Go 3S with a smaller screen of 2.2 inches. However, this is also a flip up screen, which comes in very handy, especially when you're wanting to shoot a vlog or something like that, or even just frame your shot more easily while you're filming. Next, in terms of storage, both the X4 and the Ace Pro have removable SD card storages. They've got no internal storage, which basically means you're free to use as much storage as you need, which is really nice. Obviously the downside is you have to spend more money to get storage. While the Go 3S has internal storage, it comes in a 64 gigabyte 
or a 128 gigabyte model. And this one has no removable storage. So you're limited to the model that you've bought. Next, let's talk about mounting options. So the X4 has a quarter inch thread in the bottom. So you can mount it to pretty much any camera accessory out there that supports quarter inch, like tripods, stands, or selfie sticks. And I'm personally a big fan of this. There's lots of camera accessories out there that support this, which means it's super versatile. Now this is in contrast to the Ace Pro and the Go 3S, which both have two different proprietary quick release mounting systems, which means you can't mount these cameras anywhere without the included quick release plates. Now the Go 3S quick release plate has a quarter inch thread on the bottom of it. However, if you lose that mount, then you pretty much can't mount the action pod. However, if you do take the camera out of the action pod, it's magnetic on the back. So you can just magnetically stick it to any metal surface and use that as a mount, which is nice. And the Ace Pro has a double pronged quick release mount included with the standard package. I still kind of wish that Insta360 included quarter inch threads on both the Ace Pro and the Go 3S by default. Obviously the plates solve this problem, but again, it's something worth keeping in mind. In terms of selfie stick invisibility, obviously the X4 will always make your selfie stick invisible because it's in the blind spot of the 360 degree view. However, if you're using a selfie stick with the Go 3S or the Ace Pro, it will be visible in your shots. So finally, in summary, the kind of main key differences between these three cameras is that the X4 enables you to just shoot without having to think too much about your framing, which to me is of huge benefit, especially if you're shooting action footage with a selfie stick. Then I think the image quality is going to be best with the Ace Pro. So if that's your highest priority, then the Ace Pro might be worth looking at. Then the Go 3S enables you to get the most unique and interesting angles because of that tiny size. So which is best for you? In my opinion, the X4 is best for people, like I said, who want to shoot a lot of action selfie shots, stuff like skateboarding, biking, or snowboarding. And you want the ability to be able to reframe, change your angle and perfect your shot in post. Then I think the Ace Pro is also great for people wanting to get a lot of action footage and are happy with more of a POV angle rather than a selfie angle. I think it's also going to be best for people looking to shoot in low light a lot, or if you're just wanting to shoot your everyday life in the highest quality possible. And then I think the Go 3S is great for content creators in general who just want to spice up their footage or their B-roll with more interesting angles and shots that they can't normally get. I think to me, it might be less suited to action. It might also be great for people who want to use an action camera hands-free really easily since you can mount it to your chest or to your hat and you're happy to spend more time perfecting your shot while you're filming. Now, in terms of my personal favorite, if I had to keep just one of these cameras, I think I would actually keep the Ace Pro. I think that might surprise people because people tend to gravitate towards the X4. But I think for me, I just love the Ace Pro because it has the best image quality, which I really value and prioritize. I love the biggest screen when compared to the Go 3S. And I actually quite like the look of the camera overall. I think it's got a really nice aesthetic and it just gives me what I need, which is really quick and easy footage of my everyday life without having to worry too much about playing with any camera settings. But I do genuinely love each of these three cameras. Let me know if you have a favorite and which camera you own or which one you're thinking of buying. Don't forget to check out all these cameras using the links in the description. If you use my links, it helps support my channel at no extra cost to you. And you also get a free accessory. And if you do want to see more on the Ace Pro, then check out my six month review right here.